Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect an external hard drive or external SSD to your Xbox Series S. So the first thing to note is with this external hard drive or SSD, you'll be able to, you know, play movies, play videos, whatever. You will also be able to store games. However, the games you can store, regardless if you have an SSD or external hard drive, are only Xbox One and Xbox 360 and the original Xbox games. This means that if you have games which are made for Xbox Series S, they will be able to, you know, be stored on a hard drive or SSD, but they won't run, which is, you know, kind of eliminating the whole point. So the first step is you just want to make sure that the end uh, cable right here is USB type A. So if you have an external hard drive or SSD, where the port uh, which is used is USB type C or any other port, you will need to get an adapter which converts the uh, input to USB type A. Once you have this, you see on the front of the Xbox Series S, there is a little USB cable here, uh, port even, you can plug it into there, your external hard drive or SSD, but also on the back as well, you have two other ports which you can use. If you want to uh, have external storage connected and play Xbox Series S games, you will need to buy a storage expansion uh, card. You can get them from Amazon, they do cost 150 quid. You can get a terabyte of storage and play your Xbox Series S games, and you just uh, connect that into right here. However, you know, that's just a bit of uh, something extra if you do need to play your Series S games off of the external storage. But for me, all I need to do is I just need to plug in this um, external hard drive SSD into the port so i can't do this one hand so i'm just going to cut the video now once this is connected uh you if you're doing this for the very first time you will see a message and what it will do is it will ask you what you want to use your external storage for so if you want to use the external storage for media you won't need to format the drive if we're using it to store your games you will need to format the drive and it will uh, walk you through the process naming the drive etc so i already did that earlier to just mess around and you can see if you look at the all storage it now says 968 gigabytes free when i have a 512 gigabyte xbox series s so the external storage is recognized now if you want to copy over games what you're going to do is follow me just hold uh, or press even the xbox logo and then uh, click on my games and apps seal you want to go down until you see here manage click on manage storage devices you're going to see internal storage you can see 364 gig and then my external storage which is 900 gig and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the internal storage and you can see here you can select install here by default so uh, if you wanted to move all of your regular games uh, the new games you install to your uh, external storage you just click on this and then you'll have an option to install here by default if you haven't done that already but i'm just going to click on this one here and i'm going to click on move and copy and now we can move our games from the xbox uh, series s internal storage to the external storage now keep in mind this is very important to know which is that once you've done this if you have uh, copied over an xbox series s game the game will not run. You can only copy again Xbox One, Xbox 360, and original Xbox games uh, for them to run. You can copy over, you know, the Series S stuff, but again, they just won't open, so it's kind of against the point. You know, it's a bit useless. But we'll just select World at War, and you see here, copy selected and move selected. You want to select move because copy is going to keep the game on the uh, internal storage as well, so you won't free up storage. So we'll click on move, and then move. And what it's going to do now is it's going to move over. Call of Duty World at War from my Xbox Series S's internal storage. And it's going to move it over to my external storage. Now, keep in mind, when you do this, you're going to have worse load times. And the main reason why is because the SSD on the Xbox Series S is going to be faster than the external SSD or external hard drive which you have available. So that's just something to keep in mind. Your load times will become slower, mainly because of the port limitations. Again, if you want the faster speed, you just get that uh, expansion card. However, that does cost a lot of money. So one thing to keep in mind. Now, once it's done, let's just check together. If we go to, uh, to the Xbox logo, my games and apps, see all. And then we go to manage storage devices. You can see a bit of storage has been taken from my external storage and my internal storage, I freed up a bit of storage there. So what we're going to do is let's load up the Call of Duty World of War. And even though this is running off of my external SSD, we should have no issues, uh, you know, running it. Now, keep in mind, again, everything will be a bit slower because, again, we are running off of external storage instead of internal storage. However, you can see, yeah, game's loading up perfectly fine. Uh, it did show a quick resume, so I'm not sure if uh, that's going to work still. 
Seems like it didn't, but you can see, even though this is running off of external storage, it's, you know, it's fully working. So if we go to the zombies, uh, let's go to the, you know, let's go solo and then zombies. And let's go to the zombies mode here. You can see everything is fully working. And even though this is running off of external storage, does that look slow to you? It didn't look slow to me. Uh, again, keep in mind that the, uh, you know, the speed of your devices will affect load times. But, um, yeah, I mean, hey, this helps you out a lot. If you have the Xbox Series S, you have low storage. Well, guess what? You know, you're going to, you know, copy over Xbox One games. Don't forget the latest uh, Call of Duty Warzone can, uh, can run off of external devices. If you are playing like, you know, Black Ops Cold War and even Call of Duty Vanguard and you buy the cross-gen bundle, you can just copy over the Xbox One version of the game. And guess what? That will run off of external storage as well. So even though you bought the Series S, even though the storage is low, it's on the end of the world because look at this, you know, you can run your games. Uh, you know, they, they still load up pretty quickly. Again, that re really just depends on the drive itself, how fast games are going to load. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.